Welcome to Level Learning, a Flowline video training series. Hi, my name is Mark with Flowline, bringing you our Level Learning series. And today we're going to be discussing what is Beamwith. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I would like to talk about some important properties of sound. Sound travels from a source and it's focused in a certain direction. And as sound travels over distance, the waves spread out from their source in a conical shape. These same physics apply to ultrasonic sensors. Here, the path of sound is called beam width. Beam width is largely determined by the beam angle of the transducer which is typically 8 to 12 degrees on most ultrasonic sensors. Essentially, the further the sound waves travel, the wider the footprint becomes. Think of beam width as the minimum free space required for unobstructed, reliable level measurement. But obstructions or obstacles do exist, and ultrasonic sensors should be located away from them whenever possible. Obstacles inside the beam path can disrupt the acoustic signal and be falsely detected as liquid level. Here we have a mixer that's inside the beam path and it's giving off a reflection that can be falsely detected as liquid level. We also have a ladder that's inside the beam path and it too is giving reflections that can be falsely detected as liquid level when the true liquid level is here. Flowline's Digital Signal Processing, or DSP technology, creates a living tank map that identifies false obstacle reflections in the full beam path. DSP is able to filter out false obstacle reflections and track the true level of liquid. This gives Flowline ultrasonic sensors a 2 to 3 inch minimum beam width across the measurement range and increases the installation flexibility of the sensor. This allows Flowline ultrasonic sensors to measure reliably in tight places or applications with obstructions. Thanks for learning with Flowline. Please visit Flowline.com for more level learning videos. At Flowline, we do your level best.